A CBS 2 exclusive on sex trafficking, the sex trade, and what Cook County is doing to help the victims. It's a complicated problem that for a lot of reasons is difficult for law enforcement to address and enforce. But as we found out on a recent sting operation, that's not stopping efforts to fight it. The county's even using survivors to intervene. Rob, why don't you just take them down right here? This might look like a traffic stop, but the driver just left a brothel Cook County Sheriff's officers have been watching. And what Sergeant Timothy Hannigan and his team really want is information. How to get in, what do you gotta do when you get in, who do you pay, what do you gotta pay, is there any secret word, is there a secret text message you gotta send while you to get in there? I'm with them. 10 -4. They talk to you, these guys you pull over? Oh yeah, they talk to us. They tell you everything. Yeah, usually they're nervous and then they don't want to get caught up with their wives. They want to be, we talk to them, do we just ask them if they'll co cooperate with us and they do. How long have you had eyes on this place? Overall for two, what, two and a half weeks. You've been watching this place for two and a half weeks. Correct. You know for sure what's going on in there. Yes, sir. The next step is to shut the brothel down. That operation is just moments away and we'll take you inside as it happens. But before that, this is the first one for you. Yeah. You nervous? No. Pamela Nicole Dukes is along for the raid. She joined the county special victims unit in January. What is it about this that drew you to this job? Um, there are a number of things that drew me to this job. Again, um, I'm, I'm, I, I keep no secrets. I am a, I am a survivor, domestic violence, human trafficking, um, and. That kind of made me say yes to the job. All right, time for it. For Dukes, it's personal. She's on the support side of the team, stepping in to offer services to the women being trafficked, basically to rescue them. So like they don't have passports, their passports are taken away, or they are being threatened in some way, shape, form, or another. This isn't something they can just walk away from. Um, most times, no, it's not, because there's something tied to their liability or the liability of the people that they love. More than a dozen officers are involved in the raid. There he is. An undercover officer goes in first to finalize the transaction in person. You see that I have to ring the doorbell. The door is open for you to see the you see is inside. Why do you have to wait for him to make the deal? Hasn't the deal already been made online? You don't know who's behind that message. Remember that because it will become an issue. All right, let's go guys, it's a go, it's a go. Police! Everybody come up! Police! Trash department! Two people run out the back door to get away. Officers were ready and waiting. <laughs> Meantime, inside... Everything's okay. There are two women. One starts to cry as the officer talks with him. <laughs> it's okay. Do you speak English? No. Do you understand a little English? A little bit? Okay, you're not in trouble, okay? What? You, you're, you're not in trouble. I don't know what you're saying. No trouble, okay? Trouble? Trouble. The officer spells it out using her phone to translate. That went about as well as it could have. Yeah, very well. So as soon as we opened the door, uh, there was a side door that I had officers over a standby. So as soon as we opened the door, the, two, the male and the female, the doorman and one of the females took off. The team takes all four people in for questioning, but what seems like a textbook case, weeks later takes a twist. The Cook County State's Attorney's Office says it needs more information before bringing charges. This is one, as a former prosecutor, I can just tell you, I'm befuddled as to why we didn't get charges. That's the basic question. How do you take a brothel down and no one gets prosecuted? I don't have any explanation whatsoever. The explanations I've been given so far, none of them make any sense. Since 2017, the county says its vice unit has taken down 15 brothels. 18 people were charged, six were convicted of promoting prostitution, three are awaiting trial, and nine, or half of them, had charges dismissed. This case, everything was there. There's no like, well, we're missing this or this. No, we have real victims. We have people we took in custody at the scene. We have people who are identifying them and there are roles involved with this. So there's no missing element of this. With the raid over, this is where the work begins for Pamela Nicole Dukes, offering support to the two women inside. Neither will face charges. Both were able to leave for their home states. It's an example of the county's focus with trafficking and the sex trade, helping the women get out.
The Chicago Alliance Against Sexual Exploitation would like to see more of that from Chicago police. Case has tracked prostitution-related arrests over time, and one study found in 2017 nearly 91% of arrests were for selling offenses. In other words, the women. What, do you have clothes in there? Yeah, I got a female over here. The county is trying to address that. It created a victim support services unit last year and has already helped 136 victims obtain services and support. And that's so heartening to us. Yeah, sure, it's not this macro thing where we've ended it all this up. No, but we've had these little success stories that keep reminding us why we do this. I don't think that um, when we take this down, that's the end of it at all. The work continues. Dukes told us one victim said to her, no one out here is worrying or caring about us. Dukes told her, we beg to differ. The fact is everyone on that detail knows, as you just heard, the work continues. Mm, so those numbers, 90% of who they go after, it's the sellers. And right. here they're not even getting those who are orchestrating the brothel. No, so what not. about John's? Were there even any on site? There, there was. Interesting story. We were waiting for the raid to go down in a gas station parking lot across the street and a man parked next to us. And we all sort of looked at him. He got out of the car, walked in front of the car, and we thought he had made us. Mm. Our photographer was in the front seat with his big camera. The county official was driving. He d gave us a double take and then continued to turn the, s the corner and walk down the street. The county official got out of the car to see what he was going to do. He went in still after even seeing us. By the time the raid went down, though, he was gone. Ah, all right. Fascinating report. Yeah. Thank you.